Now I've built a couple things you can live in in automation before, but I've never built an RV. And now with me recently rewatching Breaking Bad for like the 25th time, I decided to finally build an old 70s American RV. Enjoy the video everyone. Hey what's up guys, I'm Vince and welcome back to Automation the Car Company Tycoon Game. Now I've been watching one of the greatest shows of all time for about the 8th time. If you haven't guessed already, it's Breaking Bad. So we're building a Breaking Bad style RV, like a Fleetwood Bound or something from the 70s, built on a truck chassis. So let's get started. We're gonna go with fiberglass panel material, because, you know, the body itself would basically be fiberglass. We're gonna go with a ladder chassis, it's gonna be just a large truck chassis, basically. We're gonna go with steel chassis. Actually, we can go galvanized or corrosion resistant so we don't rust, but I don't care. And it's gonna be front longitudinal because there's a V8 sitting around here. Yeah. Now front suspension, I don't really know. I'm gonna go with coil. Why not? Or you know, the wishbone just to keep it, I guess, handle okay in Beam and G. And I'm gonna go with solid axle leaf in the rear. Now for the engine, we're going with a GM style engine here. We're going with the 90 g V8. Big engine. Oh. I cannot fit that engine in here. What if I make it push rod? This is gonna be push rod anyways. There we go, it can be a 6-3, that works. Alright, let's keep going. It's just gonna be all cast, cast, cast. And we're gonna put some weight on the balancing mass here, har harmonic dampener, so we get more reliability out of it. So it's not like the Breaking Bad bounder, so it doesn't break out when we're cooking. I mean, uh, what? I can't talk about that on YouTube. And for fuel system, I'm just gonna go for two barrels, single carb, and then standard mid. Yeah, that's about right. And then for headers, I'm gonna go tubular mid, dual exhaust, um, two-way cat, no mufflers, and a reverse flow second muffler. We rev too high, that's fine. I definitely want to mess with this a little bit. Let's lower that RPM limit to 4,500, yeah. Up the lifters a tiny bit. We want more torque than power, obviously. We want like 300 pound-feet, I would say. Let's lower this cam profile down. Now, we're not making much power down low, but that's fine. Got to lower our compression a tiny bit. All right, there we go. That looks like it's working so far. We can up the carburetor just a little bit so we get a little bit more power. Maybe like 160. There's our engine. Just like GM, I'm not putting much thought into it. Engine is good. Let's listen to it. Oh, yes. It sounds like engine. Great. That's very good. And yes, this is the body we're gonna use. I'm gonna mess with it just a tiny bit. Now it could be like that one from State of Decay. Now for transmission, it's good. Well, for drive type, it's gonna be rear wheel drive. And for gearbox, it's just gonna have a free speed. Without speed of like, I don't know, like E. It doesn't need to go fast, man. This thing is not gonna go fast. Open differential, radial utility tires, and the rear tires are gonna be a little bit wider. Just because it's an RV, they have to be a little bit wider. We can make them a lot bigger wheels would be kind of large now let's offset them a little bit just so it looks a little bit better my microphone stand is currently falling off of my desk all right one microphone stand re revolt i put down and we can continue our build let's make uh these rims a little bit larger there we go and now for brakes we're gonna have solid discs in the front pretty big ones well we can't really nine inch whoa we're gonna have drums in the back. This thing will not be able to stop. It's gonna suck when it comes to braking, but that's fine. It's an RV. Slam on the brakes, you're just gonna lock them up. It's not gonna be a good situation. But then again, these brakes probably aren't even gonna be good enough to lock up, so we'll see. And we're gonna put every, all the seats. And I guess handmade and in like a basic interior, because uh, or standard, because it just gets like GM parts probably, or whatever my equivalent would be. It gets DCM parts. And we're going to make it weigh a lot more because it's full of uh, flasks and boiling pots and all that. And we're going to go with hydraulic ball, power steering, no traction aids, basic safety. And yeah, we're going to keep the waste distribution where it is. Just go with normal springs all the way around. And a utility preset on the suspension tuning. I will design this and I will be right back and we could take it into Beam and G. Voiceover Vince here again. If you enjoy my content and would like to see more, gently press that subscribe button. As of this recording, I just hit 6,000 subscribers. Yo, thank you for 6k by the way. If you, like to if you would like to support the channel more personally, you can become a channel member for benefits such as unseen videos, members only live streams, and 
special rare, rare special, very rare and special Vin's merch. Thank you. Yo, get in, bitch. We got meth to cook, yo. Voiceover Vince here to tell you I have a Discord server. Click the link in the description or the annotation card above and join my community. We talk about Geo Metros and stuff like that. And now, it is time for go for. Having a stroke? Now it is time to go for a drive. Oh, I put it in reverse. Nice. Let's go. Let's just go for a nice, relaxing drive. Drifting or anything. Just a normal drive. Oh, am I kidding? We're doing one-wheel peels everywhere, man. Let's go. I'm flooring it. We're gonna get this RV moving. We gotta get the product to the buyers quickly. That did not work. Oh no. Some light desert off roading. Oh man, we're moving. I don't know how fast we're going. 50? Oh, that's fast. Watch out. I took that way, go going way too fast. A little bit of understeer there coming from the RV. Gets over the bumps pretty well. We're going to do a jump here, I think. If I remember where I am, which I probably don't. Oh, we flipped it. I mean, it could have been worse. Yeah, it could have been. It definitely could have been worse. I think now it is time to give y'all a little bit of a tour of the interior. Let's, uh... Okay, now, coming through the front door, you got the fake bullet holes. Not a reference to anything, trust me. You know, you got your dashboard and your seats that turned white. You know, you got your swivel chair and your couch, I guess. Little kitchenette. Got some dome lights that work. See that? Wow. You got the bathroom and then the bedroom. As you can see, it's not perfect. We also got these porthole windows. These are sick. Like, imagine, like, you're in your bed. You got your closet over here. You're like, oh, wow. It's a beautiful morning. Time to cook meth. I'm going to take this to the track. That's a great idea. I'll see you guys in a second. All right, I'm ready to set a blistering time around the track here. Let's go. No way. We're going real fast. They lean into the first corner. We're definitely leaning. 
break for the f second corner. Wow, I actually went through there clean for once. Nice. Understeer. Back on the power. Let's open that carburetor up. Let's go. I think the brakes are actually pretty good. So, brake pretty late there for an RV. Okay, now for the hard part that I always crash on into the chicane. Onto the back straight. Or not. <laughs> I don't know what the engine just did there, it just kind of died out. I think this free speed doesn't really know what's going on. Alright, we're gonna brake right before the one. Lock up the brakes a little bit. Alright. Last corner right here. I messed it up. Huh. Who would have guessed it? RVs from the 70s seem to understeer a little bit. Alright. That was a 151, and that's not horrible. You know, I probably went slower before. Crash. Nice. If you want to download this vehicle, it will be on the BeamNG repository once the BeamNG devs allow me to post it. You'll be able to drive this bad machine around in beam and g if you like reference breaking bad to your friends because you're cool and all right until next time i'm vins i'll see you guys later <coughs> fuck <coughs> fuck